Welcome to Emirates Learnings. In this video, we will see the I2C clock synchronization. You are strongly recommended to see the I2C basics video. Link for this video is given in the description and also a card will come in the right side top of this video right now. Also, it will be given in the suggestions. Let's see. I2C bus synchronization. I2C is not synchronized with the predefined baud rate like you are, so that clock will be given from the master to slave. Master decides the clock speed by controlling it. However, the slave may not cooperate with the clock speed given by the master and it may need to slow down. This can be done by clock synchronization. Let's see this in this tutorial. Here we can see a diagram which shows the clock and more clock from the master to slave. This is clock and this this one is data line. So master only gives the clock to the slave. The clock synchronization can be done by the wired and con connection. The default configuration of the I2C bus is wired and con configuration. So this helps the I2C to synchronize the clock. We will see how the wired and connection helps the I2C to synchronize the its clock. Once the start sequence is initiated, by the master, the active slave and master start cutting off their low periods of their own clocks. Here we can see the SDL line and ACL line. Here it is low and then here it is high. Then we can see the clock is given and then here the data is being sent. Once the device goes low, it holds the SCL line in that state indicating that it is not yet ready to process more data. Here you can see the difference. However, the 01 transition of the master device clock may not change the state of the SCL line of the slave device clock that is still within its low period. We can understand it clearly with the help of the timing diagram. A master pulls the SCL low to start the I2C transaction. The master will send the clock pulses with the certain speed, but the slave can only work at this low clock speed. So the master enters wait state. When all the devices cut it off their own, their own low period, then SCL will be released and it will go high. Here you can see the moisture clock. Moisture pulls the SCL line low to begin the I2C transaction. Here it is pulled low. And then the clock is given. This is the slave clock. You can see the difference from the master clock to slave clock. The timing is different. The master operates on higher clock speed and the slave operates on lower clock speed. This is the actual bus serial clock. So the master enters a high weight state here the highlighted places as explained earlier. This is how the I2C synchronizes its clock. You may have some doubt like why the master is operating on higher speed and the slave is operating on lower speed. You can take some example like uh, slaves like EEPROM or ADC. So 
when you take this kind of slaves it may take some duration to process it won't operation like adc need to do some conversion eprom needs to read from the memory that may not be synchronized with the master speed so the thing is the master will be operating on its own speed it may be higher the adc may be need to take some time to give the result of the converted adc result so uh, if the master reads the adc value from the slave it may take uh, the previous adc value it may not be a actual adc value at that time so in this cases the wrong data or the previous adc data can be read by the master to avoid these kind of problems the slave will pull the line low or else it will not allow the master to pull the serial clock line to the high so that it can um, hold the process this is called clock stretching or else the clock synchronization so as i said earlier master alone cannot pull the line high or low so once the slave is pulling the line low even if the master pulls the line high the actual serial clock will not go high so as long as the slave is doing its operation the master cannot pull the high line high hope you have understand the clock stretching in i2c please post your doubts in the comment section don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you